Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about uh, and practice something called an anchor frame or your starting point in your visualization or in creating focus. For the mind to become focused, familiarity is a very useful thing. So when you are beginning your visualization, if you start from the same point every time, the mind kind of gets tuned in. Oh, okay, this is what we are going to do. Let's say you have to, uh, you have to complete some big project, uh, and in the past you have completed such projects. So remembering a particular success can be like your first step always. So you are convincing the mind that hey, you've done this before. And you've been successful at this before. And the mind says, yeah, yeah, okay, fine, I can do this. If you can think of two or three such things uh, in the line of your goal, then the mind becomes even more tuned in. Hmm? And then you create those kinds of emotions within you. With practice, they become stronger and stronger. Your motivation level goes higher. Your capacity to visualize becomes better. In your mind, there's a blueprint. If it's a specific kind of project that is getting repeated, then the mind notices more and more detail every single time you do it. So it's a very important uh, tool in your visualization uh, journey. Uh, it may not apply every time, but you should know how to do it. And in most cases, it will apply. So let's begin. Okay, sitting very comfortably. Hands together, eyes closed. Prepare yourself. Make sure that your body feels ready. Take deep breaths if you need to. And begin with a memory of a success. Recent or distant, doesn't matter. Remembering a specific incident, preferably related to your goal, but if you don't have something, it's okay to start with a general accomplishment. Seeing more details and really feeling the feelings. Generating the right emotion. You're building the emotional energy to visualize your goal. If you can't remember a major incident, it's okay to remember a small incident. A single baby step you've taken towards your goal or a very small milestone that you've accomplished. The mind knows how to expand things. Creation is little harder than expansion. So creating a new image is a little harder than expanding an existing image. If you can show the mind an existing image of success, even if it is small, it will be much easier for the mind to extrapolate it into something bigger.
anchoring yourself on one frame. Seeing one particular memory clearly. And if you are feeling good, then you can begin visualizing the next milestone as though it is complete. Otherwise, go again to this memory or another related memory. In vivid detail, visualizing your accomplishment. Noticing where you are as you visualize this accomplishment or milestone in the present moment. As though it has just happened. Noticing what is the first thing you do when it happens. Become aware of any people you connect with or call. Become aware of your surroundings and environment and how you feel in your body. At this time, take stock of your emotions. How am I feeling right now? If I am feeling a positive, upbeat, motivating emotion, then bring more and more details into the picture of the next milestone you are manifesting. Otherwise, return to the anchor frame. With each repetition, your mind becomes more and more tuned. An activated mind will increase your happiness more and more. It will find more and more reasons to be grateful, to be relieved, to feel a sense of closure or completion or relief. Visualizing the outcome, increasing the focus.
and whenever you feel ready you can come out or start this practice one more time it's your choice